lovely song to stir the emotions. Hallelujah. Next, um, I'll have a pastor minister to say a few words to us in Jesus' name. Give him a clap while we come to
decision will come and we can have a baptism sometime, maybe next month or just before the Christmas. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.
feeling new. The whole night you cannot sleep. And the morning you say you're going to the dentist where you should get help. The tooth is gone. But you know what? That's the plan of the enemy. Because you know you're going to be blessed today, my brother. You know the world is waiting for you. So he's trying to put that thing on you to say you're feeling sick. But in the name of Jesus, you're not. Whatever cloud of darkness he's trying to put over you, you lift it in the name of Jesus. And just as the dentist, we want to go to the dentist, and we said, I'm not feeling the teeth anymore, so I'm not going to go. And you don't go to the dentist, that's when the toothache still hit you. But if you step out and go, sometimes you can't even find the teeth that is hurting you. So therefore, these things are tests for us. But you know what? God has conquered the death and hell. And therefore, today, he is the same God that is keeping us. Pray for me, Jesus.
honor to the Holy Spirit and we greet the brethren in Jesus name. We just want to praise God this morning for his keeping power, for his grace that you know and his mercy, his favor towards us. Because when you think of the goodness of the Lord and what he has done for us, we should just praise him and give him thanks for all his benefits towards us who have redeemed our life from destruction and crowned us with loving kindness and tender mercy. Let us praise him and thank him for the life he lent us for a season. Praise God. And we give him praise for Pastor Walter. Praise God that he spare his life that he can be here today. We honor him. We glorify him. And we thank him for Bishop as well because many prayers have been gone up and we are still praying and we're going to wait upon him. Praise God because he is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is our healer. He is our deliverer. He is our strength. He is our hope. He is our righteousness. He is our all in all. So we're going to trust him and worship him and go
said that he's watching over us. I pray for every single one of you inside this church. I do not leave out a name because we're all on a journey together. And we ought to stay connected together because the devil will try to divide. But we are standing as one. Let's just lift up the banner for Jesus. Pray for me while we pray for you in Jesus' name. Anybody else? No? Okay. We'll have an angel to come and give us a song. In Jesus' name.
faith in them. In Jesus' name, thank you. No, it, us, it, it encourages us to see the young ones to participate in something that is beyond them at times. But they are willing to try and accept that there is something more in this world that God is able to make a difference in their lives. So let's continue to pray for them because they are quite important for the future. That they are going to have to carry the flag, maybe on their own or in a group of people, but let their confidence be built in God through the fellowship of others. So thank you very much, Andrew, for God bless you in Jesus' name. Um, we'll now have a reading from Sister Marsha in Jesus' name.
which is fallen in our infirmities, but was in all point tempted, like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of Christ, that we may obtain mercy and find peace to help in the time of need. Praise God. The word of God to me is confession. Is confession. And it's, we have a great high priest. Um, he's working through our means, he's working through our problems, he's working through our everyday activity. Jesus Christ is our great high priest. He is present in every passing day, every passing minute. Everything we do, we all have our own circumstances, we all have our own obstacles and trials. But I've heard many testimonies this morning, and I've heard many encouraging words that we cling one to another, hold fast unto God and changing hands. Not our brothers, not our sisters, not our work, not our work friends or money, but unto only our changing hands, which is Jesus Christ. He will take us through anything that we're going through. But we first need to put that faith. We need to hallelujah. We need to make sure that we're at that place that when God whispers that soft, sweet voice, we are able to hear it. And that's my few words.
not. In John verse 1, chapter 1, verse 5, it says, And it was so, when the days of their feasting were gone about, that's his children, they were having a good time, praise the Lord, that John sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning, and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. So he prayed for ten children, he prayed for all of them individually. Didn't miss anybody out. For Job said in his heart, he said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job what? Continue. It didn't start on Monday, I'll rest on Tuesday. Start again Wednesday, I'll rest on Thursday. He prayed continually for his family every day. Nobody was left out and each one was blessed by him. So while they were drinking and marrying and saying, Yahoo! He was praying at home for them so that God would forgive them of their sins if they had committed any. He's making a big assumption. Verse 8, still in chapter 1, verse 8. He said, My servant Job, 